That was a terrible pass. Duck. Boom, boom. Okay, we're not throwing it like this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, one more time. Woo, yeah. Touchdown, baby. Welcome to the summer edition of Prep Rally, our weekly show dedicated to prep sports in Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Chip Souza, the sports editor of the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. So each week this summer, we'll take a look at prep football around the area. The schools just wrapped up their spring practices not long ago, and they're gearing up for the 2017 season. Got team camps coming up, some summer drills, things like that. So we will take a look at all these teams as they point toward the 2017 season. Today, we start with the Fayetteville Bulldogs. Now, three coaches in three years, that usually signals a program that's in trouble, but not this one. The Bulldogs have won back-to-back -back Class 7A state championships under two different coaches. Daryl Patton won the first one, Bill Blankenship won the second one, and not long after the uh, Bulldogs celebrated that title in War Memorial Stadium, just a few weeks in fact, Bill Blankenship resigned his position to take a similar job over in Oklahoma where it's his native state. So obviously this Fayetteville opening at the time attracted you know, some of the most successful coaches all around this region. You know, this, this is a coveted job in 7A and one that's been highly successful. Fayetteville went out and they made an absolute home run hire. They hired Billy Dawson, um, who had just won a state championship over at Russellville. Billy Dawson has been successful at every coaching stop he's been and won state titles at Nashville, won state titles at Russellville. So terrific hire for Fayetteville. The Bulldogs just finished their first spring practice session under Coach Dawson and our Mike Capshaw, who covers Fayetteville for the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. He spoke with Coach Dawson about the team. So let's take a look at what Coach Dawson thinks about his Bulldogs moving forward. I'm here with Coach Billy Dawson, first year coach. Uh, coach, have you had to study a, a roster or anything? you got about 300 kids out here, it seems like, uh, at times. We do have a bunch, and it's taken me a month or so, but I think I've got all the names down. It's uh, uh, The kids have been fantastic, so uh, it's been exciting to watch them uh, progress. How about overall this spring? How do you think things have gone? I mean, how, how are you doing putting plays in, things like that? Well, you know, for, for five new Six count me coaches uh, for a whole new scheme, offensively, defensively, and special teams. I think the kids have done really well. And, uh, you know, the carryover process from one day to the next has been okay. Uh, we're getting better at that, but uh, we're starting to figure it out. I think through the summer, uh, we'll grasp it. What are the plans for this summer? Are any seven on seven? You mentioned a Greenwood team camp tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to go to three or four team camps and uh, play a seven on seven over Shiloh, playing their tournament over there. And, uh, we'll, we'll do a lot of work here. Uh, we got a lot of things we can do ourselves, and, and uh, so we'll do a lot of work here. Overall, for, as a program, um, I'm guessing you don't want to make wholesale changes, but what were some of the changes that you, that you have implemented, and uh, what were some of the things you didn't have to change? Well, you know, I think you know the, the ambition of the kids, the way the kids uh, love the game, uh, obviously you don't mess with any of that. Uh, you know, the things that we've changed maybe are just structural things. Uh, practice, the way we practice, uh, the tempo in which we're trying to play with, the tempo in the weight room, and more philosophical things. Not that the last guys were wrong or anybody's is wrong, it's just the way that uh, we do things and kind of our stamp on it. Is that part of no one standing around, everyone's moving, <laughs> even the coaches out here? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we're trying to get a little tempo established. It starts with us. and. Uh, Kids have done a nice job picking that up. Any individuals standing out for you this this well, summer, think, spring so far? I think defensive line wise, we got a couple of kids playing really well. You know, Coleman Johnson's playing well, Dawson Schaefer's playing well. We're going to be young at linebacker, but I think we have some bodies there that are that are going to be good football players. I think Will Litt Senior at safety is playing really well. We have two senior corners, Samari Dobbins and Frank Morgan, I think are playing well. Offensively, you know, we have two offensive linemen back from last year, Cameron Irvin and uh, Gunnar Sebastian. And I think both of those guys are going to be fine. And we're looking for those other three spots. I think our quarterback, uh, Darius Bowers and Hank Gibbs have both had good springs and are figuring it out. There's a lot on their plate. So, you know, Cody Gray to wide out, Chris Malin get a wide out. Both those kids played a lot last year and both had a good spring as well. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Coach Dawson, for taking the time to talk to us after your spring practice. So this week and then throughout the summer, we will continue to preview our prep football teams. Next week, we'll focus on Rogers High, the Mounties, under second-year coach Mike Lloyd. He got the Mounties in the playoffs his first season, so we'll take a look at how the Mounties, how they went through this spring and what changes they have in store moving into the 2017 season. So for all of us at the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Prep Rally. Thank you.
Coach Dawson, my arm feels good. I may have a little bit of eligibility left, so if you need me, I'll be on the sideline.